saying? That, you know, I know mad people say, well, hey, I'm going to get ready for Halloween. I'm going to put a, a gravestone, you know, a graveyard stone in my yard saying rest in peace. Celebrating rest in peace, but yet, you know what I'm saying? If someone dear to them dies, they're crying and they're hurting and feeling bad because someone uh, is gone in their life and, you know, uh, not they not going to come back. They're crying and they're frustrating and mad. Why is this happening? Why why is this death happening? We screaming out if it's our family, it's our friends. We're screaming out. Why is this death happening? We're frustrated by life. Why? And then have the goal because you're in darkness to blame God for the reason of the activity that is going on in the earth. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, why is this taking my life? Why is this? God is taking, like in the scripture, I mean, Jesus said Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You know what I'm saying? Right there in the scripture, Jesus said, I come to have life and life more abundantly. But they will, why God? Why would you take away this? Take it. Well, Satan, Jesus said, Jesus said, Satan comes to steal, kill, kill. You hear that word? Kill and destroy. You know what I'm saying? God, God did, said, he, I want to take everybody's life out. No, God brings correction to certain people and certain things that happens or the idea that people never um, uh, accepted this rule called sowing and reaping. Yeah, I mean... When you sow evil seeds, guess a evil tree is going to grow. And guess what's going to come out of that evil tree? Evil fruit. You know what I'm saying? When you sow evil seeds, evil tree, evil fruit. And fruit means the ideal of fulfillment. And it also means the ideal of your actions. The act of the seed that you sow will happen eventually as what the world calls it, what goes around comes around. It's the same idea of sowing and reaping. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, people will sow in, 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 in concerning their words, concerning evil and, and perform the things of evil and they get shocked that something evil happened to them. <gasps> What, what, why is this evil thing happening to me? Why does evil thing happen to people? Why is the evil going on across the world? Um, the word of God says, the God of this world, blind the minds of men, you know what I'm saying? Putting them in spiritual darkness and spiritual darkness is ignorance. You know what I'm saying? They are in ignorance, ignoring the ideal of the actions that they're doing that is evil that is causing them to stop them from living. You know what I'm saying? The evil is trying to stop them from living. And the thing is, the ideal that evil is, uh, you know, uh, is life is evil spelled backwards is a world that is going backwards. We living in a world that is going backwards. It's instead of not going forward, because life is about something that goes forward. Life is about living for the future. Jesus come to bring life and life more abundantly concerning living to the future. And the thing is, it is what is supposed to be the agenda of the creation of humanity is to have long life. But if we choose to want to uh, live in a system of world that is full of evil, and interesting that that is amazing about the word evil. If you put a D in front of evil, you get devil. And devil, but the D stands for, watch this, disobedience. I mean, is that crazy? You, it was, watch this. You live, but you're living backwards, evil. But why are you living backwards? Because you learn how to, well, you, because you disobey, you know what I'm saying? Be, but you disobey because you lived backwards, you know what I'm saying? You live backwards, evil, and guess what? You became, because of your dis, disobedience, you, you became the image of the devil. See, I hope you got that. 
You know what I'm saying? But the thing is how ironic that is, you know, concerning, you know, I didn't make the uh, uh, alphabet and create the words, but that is just crazy that if we could take e life and make it backwards evil and then put a D on there, you get double. You know what I'm saying? That's amazing. But the thing is, when we do uh, live evil, we're living backwards. We're living backwards of what the purpose that God has, you know, uh, 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 created us for. Our purpose we are created for is life and life everlasting, but life according to following God's word to that we can continue this life. But if we're continually allowing ourselves to be deceived by a world system that's showing a lot of evil, you know what I'm saying? And we following and doing a lot of evil, you must understand that it's not God, it's not this person, it's not really the devil, but it's you believing, allowing yourself to be deceived by him that you end up doing evil, plotting against one another. And the thing is, what keeps evil going on to me, is the idea of thinking that somebody's better than you. You know what I'm saying? When you're in this contest that I'm trying to be better than somebody. I'm trying, this person thinks he's better than me. I'm better than this person. And you're trying to get in this contest and thinking that you're trying to be compete with each other. But God taught me about, you know, competing or being complete. See, there, see, and, you know, compete, you know, uh, What's the difference between compete and complete is one have an L in it. And the L stands for love. You know what I'm saying? When we get the love of God, we are complete. But if you do not have the love of God in you, you will find yourself competing to, with everybody else, trying to be better than everybody else. And watch this. In your competition, you never discover who you really are. You never find out what the kind of person that you are. You busy trying to compare yourself to other people that, you know, that maybe is good at you at certain things. And you may be good at that, then that person at other things. But you busy in conflict trying to compete with certain people. And you're not trying to find out your true purpose of Genesis 126 made in the image and the likeness of God is supposed to be everybody's purpose. But Satan has got people competing that they find themselves plotting against the people that they are competing with, doing evil towards them. They're plotting to lie on them. They're plotting to uh, mistreat them. They're plotting to try to tr deceive them. They're plotting. See, and that's what this world system, unfortunately, many people are... Uh, operating in darkness, that they're pot plotting to cause harm towards people that they think that they're better than another person. Because, and watch this, in this confrontation, what the only thing that establishes in a person's heart that does evil is bitterness. And the thing is, when you have bitterness in your heart, it doesn't matter how good a person treats you. It doesn't matter how nice a person is. You will think only negative towards another person, no matter how good they treat you. And the reason why you will think negative towards another person, how they treat you, is because you got bitterness. And bitterness is an ideal of acid. It eats away in your heart. And it eats a hole in your heart. And watch this. If someone show love towards you and try to fill your heart with love, it's going to leak right out of your heart, out of their heart because of the area of bitterness that, you know, that ate up a hole in your heart. And now the love is poured out. And now this person feel like they need more fulfillment. They need, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do that to make me feel happy, to make me feel good, to make me feel satisfied. It's what evil has been notoriously doing to people so much and people living backwards, people living in the past, people are living, you know, in something that they have no control of. We don't have no time machine to go back to rectify the negative things that happen in our life. 
And the thing is, evil will dwell on something that can't, we can't change. We cannot change the past. The only thing we can do is try to learn from this past to create a better future that we can live life. You know what I'm saying? Develop a better future, live life. And only there's going to, you can do that is through the way, the truth, and the life. See, the life, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is about you having life and life more abundantly, that life that you can live. You know what I'm saying? And move forward in your life. Through his power, we have the ability to do that. But if we try to do it by our own strength, we will end up failing, failing, failing. You know what I'm saying? And failing is going to get us in disappointment. And we're going to be disappointed about life. And we're going to start dwelling with the past. You know, the past mistakes, the past, you know, uh, hurt, the past uh, bad things that happen. You know what I'm saying? You dwell on that and you don't meditate on the ideas of how to improve for a better future. You know what I'm saying? You busy and it's going to be about somebody else. It's going to, this person did me wrong in the past, but it's not going to be about me. What did I, mistakes I made? What instructions I did not follow to help me to have a better life? What did I did not learn to try to learn to get along with people? Am I addressing the problems and the issues that are going on inside of my heart? That's not going to be discussed when you're in darkness. You just putting it on another person that's saying that you're the responsibility of why I don't have a future. It's what evil has been notorious of doing to people. Now watch this. People, now get this. People are not evil. You know what I'm saying? People only uh, learn, I mean, they, they only know how to perform evil because they dwell in darkness. You know what I'm saying? You'd be surprised how much people you think that, oh, they're evil and they don't like me. No, they don't know how, they don't, they don't have the proper instructions on how to do good. <laughs> they don't have the improper instructions on how to do good and how to treat people right. And they see negativity within themselves. They, they see negative in themselves. And you think people are so evil. No, they don't know how to do what's good. And they don't understand the and never experience the results of the benefits of being a good person. They don't know the benefits of being a good person and how it's supposed to help them and heal them and become a better person. You know what I'm saying? That people will continue to do evil because they're unknown of what. If you start learning to do good and learning to do the good, learn to uh, obtain the goodness of God, letting God take Jesus Christ to heal your heart, that goodness can stay inside your heart. They don't know the benefits of that, that Christians are supposed to shine the light and show forth the example of what God can do for their life. And they will see it, the example through them and they will want to accept Jesus Christ for the sake because they want their heart healed because they want to know how it is to be a good person. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, most people are resulting to evil because evil has been uh, influenced everywhere. As you can see, United States love to uh, uh, in, uh, the me social media has so much evil uh, influence going on. Of course, people are going to perform evil, and of course, uh, evil uh, things are going to happen in the earth. We shouldn't be shocked, but the reason why we're shocked because it's the spiritual ignorance that comes with the idea of darkness. That you know, people are unknown to the results of evil. That's why you know Halloween is being celebrated each and every day, but no one is ignoring the the minds of eat people are being. Uh, killed, people are being murdered, people are being, you know, treated evil, and mischief is happening, and people being hurt by it, and 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 they not they don't care about it. Ah, just keep celebrating something that is going to bring harm towards humanity. That's spiritual ignorance. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is to be evil. But we need to lead only through Jesus Christ we can live and live and move forward. But if we put evil backwards and start disappointing, I mean, di disobeying God's word, we start becoming the image of the devil.
concerning darkness. All right, that's the message. God be the glory. Come forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.